Hello everybody, I'm Raphael Perry and it's time for some more Sacred Fire. Now, at the end of the last episode, we'd found our way back to the hiding spot, safe in the glen, where hopefully the Romans won't be able to find us. I can see a grain over there in the background and a little boy up there on the cliff. Lots of people scattered around in small groups here. With the nice warm springs, with steam rising from them, and let us hope beyond all hope, that there aren't too many campfires lit with smoke drifting aloft to show the Romans where we are. Let's dive into a new chapter and see how it goes. This should be an interesting reunion. Hopefully our brother Wid is here to see us. Actually, that might be him right there. What do you do? Uh, warm up as quickly as possible. It should get me back a morale point. I've got plenty of those moments. Pay attention to the crowd. Sure, let's do that. Several of the men are injured, and a few of the women seem to be in mourning. Probably for other men who have died. Or who weren't rescued from the Romans who were dragged off to slavery. Something must have gone wrong with the plan to seal the ravine leading up here. Oh dear. I hope nobody's been too badly injured rage as well. So some people could have been trapped behind the um, rage impulse resisted. That's good. So the shield means we resisted it. Great. It's been a little while, folks. Walking by, you hear some men arguing about how the legion arrived so quickly from Eobrach after the attack on the wall. Uh, that does remind me, with the, the legionnaires and legionaries, uh, one of the developers got back to me on the Discord uh, forum. And they, they are going through fixing all the legionnaires because legionnaires are from the French Foreign Legion and legionaries are from the Roman legions of old. New insight about the commander unlocked. What do we know? He responded incredibly quickly to the attack on the wall. That's up here. That's not a bad thing. That's a, that's a good thing in a way. How could we interpret that in a bad thing? He's overly aggressive to respond. Um, hates our people so much he'll come after us anyway. Uh, understanding in a good way would be like, okay, so he's he doesn't mess around. You know, he's he's going to take action if something bad happens. They must have seen the high-ranking commander and his men too. Some believe the Romans planned the invasion and the smoke on the wall was a ploy to justify the cost to Rome. Others think the attack on the wall was genuine, but that the Romans were tipped off. That's how they had time to mobilize. Because the Celts don't activate as quickly as the Romans do. You know, they, they don't, the Romans are more of a machine. These are a more tribal clan-like people. It's hard to find a free spot near the water, but Wid spots you and makes room. Good for him. What, like he budges up or like moves a few people aside to make room for me? I can join him. He'll like that. Barge my way into my own space, which will piss people off. Nah, wait, wait my turn. Um, that could make him hostile. I am playing a more calm leadership based person who sets others before themselves but he's made the effort to make the space for me so I should make use of it um, and be grateful that it's been done I should take care of myself a little bit once in a while as well understanding the dire condition you're in he gives you ample time to warm up oh minus five fear and that, that's great that offsets some of the stuff that could have built up from the dreams the night before after days in the cold, your numb fingers come painfully back to life. You're proud of yourself for not voicing what you'd like to say about the chill. So interestingly, this is going slightly off the top of the screen for me, the top of some of these letters. So that looks like Atta. Uh, I, I suppose that's an F. And that's probably an F as well, you know, and that. And this is coming down the bottom here. There's no scroll bar. So that's interesting. When it goes to a third line, we run out of space a little, but that's okay. So that 
is a restriction on how much text we're likely to see in these spaces. So this doesn't go up and down, this doesn't adjust. Seeing you're comfortable enough to stand, Wid offers you some dried meat warmed up in the spring. So it wasn't immersed in the water to like boil a bit, it was like held over the steam so that it's still dry, like on sticks or, or skewers or something. What do you do? We can accept the food, shake our head, or ignore him. Why would we ignore him? That's building hostility. Um, we got a pretty good relationship with Wid, and I don't know why we'd want to harm it. Um, let's see. Uh, friendship is 50, hostility 1%. Um, so we understand that he wants to build a nation in peace. He thinks he's failed us. We don't understand that he trusts us completely, leading is hard. He feels protective of Vitain. So we should, we should probably put, we should probably understand that he trusts us, because he's shown that quite well so far. And we actually do have a point, so I'm going to do that. Yeah. Put some points in there, sure. And mindset, we got a few points as well. Um, we don't have anything that's going to help with those pain blocks yet. Uh, fear and anger is what we're mostly looking at. So I don't have what it takes. We are alone in the end. So it's looking like everything on the left hand side, really. So. Fear and friendship, fear and solo. We'll, we'll go for the fear and friendship, build this up a little. There we are. Think, no, sometimes you, you will have people around you. You'll build a legacy, people will come to be around you and support you in your dying days and your final moments. Yeah, let, let's, let's resist that negative thought. And accept the food. Ooh, point of wealth, great. The warm, solid food feels like a feast after the cold bites eaten on the long march here. I'm glad you made it, sister. I'm glad you made it, sister. Things were much worse than I thought when I left you on your own. He says grimly. How do you respond? He had no shit. Bit modern, bit 80s, maybe 70s. Uh, I didn't... You didn't send me off. I chose to go myself. Aversion. Uh, plus one aversion penalty, rising its intensity. Um, an aversion block tracks how much his words, actions, or presence irritates you, and how much you would like to avoid his presence. Ah. As you can see, not a scratch on me. Plus 20 renown. Well, there's a slight scratch, but not going to mention that. Look, I came out of it in pretty good shape. You can clearly take care of yourself. He says with a nod. A 52 renown. Also, we got a point here taking us back up to 13. Still a long way away from any of these upgrades. Oh, renown. Again? We keep getting points. Uh, Car over strong. The starborn gives us more renown more quickly. Car over calm. Sure. Let's go with that. That gives us a bit more in chance to encourage people or soothe them down if they're in a bad way. Oh, we, we need to work on that provoking a bit. Do any of these help with that? Um, not even remote. Ah, there we go. Right, the storm. Got it. So nothing else for that yet. Do you tell him about Atayan attacking the Roman commander? Yeah, absolutely. Build up, you know, she did good stuff too. So brag about the stuff she did, you know. Let, let, let him know that, hey, she did something cool. She did cool stuff. Spread her story. Let her fame grow. Atayan attacked a Roman commander. He'll be looking for us, though. What? Why would she? He blurts out, but stops himself mid-sentence to consider what this means. Hey, at least I told him I could have kept it from him. There could be Romans coming, and he wouldn't know if I hadn't told him. He might find out later, but I didn't keep this from him. 
I agree. He might put his trackers on you. He slowly replies. Hmm. Etain really kicked the hornet's nest with this one. He thinks out loud. He'll also want to recapture the people you set free. He says. You can tell he's proud of what you've accomplished. You feel strangely irritated by his vicari vicarious pride. You're the one who risked his... You're the one who risked his life. It's your... No, you're the one who risked her life. You're the one who, who risked your own life. I didn't risk Wid's life. That's odd. Um, screenshot that so I can show the devs. It might matter. It's your success, not his. This could also be because it's an older save as well. You shake it off, accepting that Weird is happy for your success, not just proud that he trained you. Do you tell him about the stranger who broke the chains? Yes, I don't think I should keep this stuff secret. I had help. A Roman prisoner set them free. Where is he now? Weird asks, his curiosity piqued. How do you respond? He was captured again. It's true. That gives me positive thoughts about the stranger. Or just shrug me like, yeah, I don't know. No, he, he was captured again. They got him. He didn't get away. Do you continue? Yeah, sure. Again, he did a cool thing. Let people know about it. He split from the group to give them a fighting chance. This builds up his reputation. Did the Romans kill him? A weird asks. No. Mistrust. No, no, I'm going to do this. That's the strange thing. They wanted to, but they didn't. Minus one prejudice against the stranger. Wid ponders this for a while before moving on to a new topic. Minus one prejudice. Um, so the stranger, level 30, rank 0. Um, he has leverage against the Romans. He's a skillful healer. He freed your people. He's valuable to Rome. Can we get back to him again? We can't close this. Interesting. Uh, hello? I can't close this. How bizarre. Why can't I close this? This could be an issue from an old save. One moment. Um... Bit of friendship. Clo yes, good. So if we open this again, uh, the stranger is not on here. Followers, he's not on here. Enemies, he's not on here. Um, is he here? Balance of power? No. Down here? No. 61 points. Oh, we got enough to spend again. Um, Igraine is here, or should be. She will do anything to gain power. She values her reputation as a healer. She blames Wid for taking her influence away from her. Um, let's go with this. Because she is a bit of a hostile 17% friendship, 19% hostility. So she's not that hostile to us at the moment in terms of the overall balance. Is there any other reason the general would go out of his way to find you? He asks, his expression guarded. Yeah, I killed his dogs and he really liked them. How do you reply? I saw it was personal for him when I killed his dogs. I killed a centurion and a jewel in front of everyone. So both of these, but he really liked the dogs. That's a bigger thing for him, not necessarily for me or for the other Romans. Me and Atain killed quite a lot of them. Think about whether this place is safe. I'll think about this before answering. Indecision. You feel Wid's implying you've done something to endanger this place and you're not motivated to explore whether that's true. Well, how about exploring whether it's true? Sure, the Roman commander may be driven to get revenge, but this place is well hidden. He would have to comb these chilly mountains, glen by glen, to find it. Unless someone who knows the location leads him here. Fear grips your insides. Luan's friend Brian, the boy who wasn't fast enough, could be the death of you all. 
How do you reply? I saw it was personal for him when I killed his dogs. Wid nods, but doesn't comment. I killed a centurion and a jewel in front of everyone, so this circle means we get another rum. Wid is clearly surprised, as am I, to be honest. Gods. I had no idea. He exclaims with a mix of surprise, concern, and respect. We were discussing the safety of our people, not mine, not my own personal safety. Uh, it seems you're a better te Reducing his guilt is good. It seems you're a better teacher than you thought. He nods and examines you, as if looking for wounds or perhaps reassessing your abilities. Yes, that would get a general's attention. He replies, returning to the topic at hand. We killed a lot of them. He's got Brian, Luan's friend. Look, I want a better chance there. Wid's expression grows anxious as he realizes Brian could be coerced to lead the Romans here. I'm and glad Luan. I reduced his guilt because. Oh. What became of her? And Luan, what became of her? He asks, his voice tense of anger. He cares for her, doesn't he? A bit like a parent. I got to her in time. She's here somewhere, safe and sound. Thank you. Wid sighs with relief, and to your surprise gives you a hearty pat on the back. Yeah. Uh, how much a character sees you as a person, and how likely they are to forgive an offence? We're getting a lot of fear here. Might have to balance that out soon. You know what, we got a lot of motivation points. Sure. You're so preoccupied with that girl, you've forgotten the dumb boy who got himself captured. Igrain interrupts. Several villagers turn their heads your way. Yes, yeah, she was loud enough to get their attention. Again, a uh, slightly out of time period, shaved sides. Um, a bit early for this in the Iron Age. She must have been listening the whole time. I'm sure she was, waiting for a good opportunity. That boy is soft. He'll betray us to the Romans. She continues in a loud voice. Oh, she's making a scene. She's done this before. He could be leading them right to us as we speak. She finishes and a ripple of panic spreads through the onlookers. We need to calm them down which might mean stopping her. Is Wid going to lose his temper? Damn your theatrics, Egrain. Wid shouts, losing his temper. Oh, we got a problem now. His roar is fearsome enough to stop everyone in their tracks, and it's undermined his reputation. What do you make of Rid's reaction? Well, she's a really horrible person. Uh, nice to see that he's human too. He's starting to lose... He's weak? No! Look, she's really horrible. It's your fault the children went missing, Wid. And you know it. Igraine isn't finished yet. She's really going for it. You've been teaching them to be independent and rebel against me. She hectors him. That's the whole reason they were out there, and one of them fell into Roman hands. She concludes. That's how you, Wid compromised our hiding place. She concludes victoriously. Now we could counter that if she had taken better care of the orphans, they wouldn't have been out hiding away from the village in the first place. You can tell Wid blames himself for what happened to the boy. Hey, he wasn't there, we were. What do you make of it? Igraine is playing the crowd again. Yes, she is. Wid sent me into harm's way to clean up his mess. Why? Why? I'm playing a nice character this time. Wid did the best he could in a bad situation. The Romans created all this mess, not him. Look, he, he did a good job of organising people to get them to retreat and defend, so yeah. Shut up, you witch. If you'd taken better care of them, they wouldn't have run away. 
Before anyone can react, Etain comes at Igrain. Yeah, she's joining in. And now Igrain may lose influence. Ooh, she is angry. Igrain jerks back in fear, and a few people seem uncomfortable with Etain's aggressive tone. Ooh, that's reduced Etain's reputation. Okay. What do you do? This isn't time to play the crowd, Igrain. Your herbs kept them sick, so they'd be forced to work for you. Stay quiet. I'm going to think before accusing her of making the children sick, and I'm going to boost it. This isn't the right time. The crowd is sick with worry and needs to trust their leaders. So undermining anyone's reputation here, which is what she's doing, is a bad thing. And you unfortunately have no proof yet. Luan didn't find the herbs, and no one qualified has declared them poisonous. Taking a moment to consider all things carefully, you evaluate Atain's outburst too. While there is nothing wrong with standing up for Luan, you realise she doesn't hesitate to use force to get what she wants. So now, she's volatile. It's part of her... Um, so that's just here under she is volatile. So she might explode at a bad time. It's good. We can use it, her aggression, but it can also be a bad thing. It can work both ways. So we can understand that as a positive or a negative thing. What do you do? Um, stay quiet. It would be quite easy. Don't accuse her. This isn't the time to play the crowd, Igraine. And your sister is the same. Trying to be a hero and bringing strangers here. Uh, we resisted the negative experience build. Okay. Escape slaves. Who the Romans are hell-bent on finding. This is for refugees, not me. They like me a lot, so let's hope they pass this roll. Oh my god, really? They failed a 65 and a 95 now. This is... People are studying the newcomers closely, but the old man remains calm and locks eyes to, with a grain to surprising effect. And that's a failure? Uh, negative... Okay, so they got a negative experience increase, but they still... It didn't make the outcome very different. It's just a build-up to modifiers for now. Igraine's face goes pale and you notice her hand trembling. Your intuition tells you these two know each other. I should talk to him about that later. Uh, she and the old refugee have history. I would love to know more about that in future. That could be a negative thing. I could think she's she's got... Um, she knows bad things about him. Like, he could be trouble. He knows bad things about her. Or I could be like... I can use what he knows against her as a, you know, it's a good thing, but he knows stuff. The others have noticed the change as well and fall silent, eyeing a grain and the strangers curiously. Her renown is nose diving. Really badly. Um, She's losing face here and she knows it, but she's also undermining other people and weakening their positions in the society. Do you address the old man? Um, sure. I see you've met Igraine. The old man nods and Igraine remains unusually quiet. How'd you proceed? <laughs> Always a pleasure to see someone make her shut up. Think about this for a moment first. It almost seems Agrain is afraid the old man will reveal something she wants to stay hidden. And what could that be? Did she tell him about this spot herself? Or could it be something else, even more? See, I'm thinking... Something from before she was in our village, when she may have looked at these people before, when she was younger. I don't know. Am I right to assume Igrain told you about this place? Yes, she did. It was the best option at the time, and we all survived. 
So possibly many years ago, he confirms. Yeah. While such a situation isn't unheard of, the fact Igraine tried to blame Wid for endangering the hiding place turns people against her. All of these people were held prisoner by the Romans already, so the information could already have been got out of them. So she's then trying to blame us in case the Romans use the knowledge of these people that she has given to them. So she's really trying to shift blame. Okay. Wid seems to be one step ahead, because when he speaks, he already has a plan. We must assume they're on their way here. I'll take some fighters and throw them off the scent. Wid decides after a while. Yeah, she's created the problem. They are, while they are part of the problem, she's part of responsibility for the problem. He's going to deal with it. She's not going to deal with it. So she's looking bad. You feel the tension lift. The most experienced warriors start packing their gear without Wid having to ask. Igraine's pain resistance check, so she's hurt by this whole thing not going her way. How's she going to respond? No one pays attention to Igraine anymore, and she has enough sense to retreat quietly. How do you react to Wid's plan? We shouldn't split our forces. No, we probably should. Please be careful. I'll go with you. How can I help? Um. Fr yeah, how can I help without going with you? What can I do here while you're away to make things better? How can I help, Wid? I need you here in case the worst happens and the Romans reach this place. Wid whispers. How do you reply? No, I'm not staying behind while you have, have all the fun. That's a very sort of action movie kind of line, right? We've already had a lot of risk, got into a couple of fights. We don't want to do it too often. All right, I will defend him with my life. Lie to Wid, knowing you intend to save your own skin. So like, yeah, yeah, I'll look after him and then run off. Nod to accept the task. I'll go for this with the trust build. No, no, all right, I will defend them with my life. I'll make sure the Romans never find this place. He states, hoisting his gear. Hey, what do we got? Is it just... Ooh, mindset. Great. Um, the fear has been an issue recently, so let's let's boost some fear resistance. Um, also blocks, actually. Blocks and friendship. Sure, I'm incomplete. I cannot trust anyone. I'm not good around people. Um, let's boost this up, right? And then maybe some of these later on. And we got enough here. And I wanted to understand that she and the old refugee have history. And maybe that'll work in my favour at some point in the future. Kara's rocketing up here. That's going very well indeed. I should also probably start putting some more points in here in the future as well. Make sure they don't turn on each other while I'm gone. He adds and makes to leave. What do you do? Nod and let him go? Pack your things and follow him? No, I've already said I won't. Think about what he might have missed and boost it because I have lots of morale points, uh, lots of motivation points. He's so focused on leading the danger away, he didn't prepare for the worst outcome. I should warn him, whatever this is. He's leading the best warriors away. If the Romans find this place in his absence, you'll be in a weakened defensive position. So maybe he needs to leave some of the best warriors here and take some of the less experienced ones as well, or just leave some behind. You must find a way to let him know if that comes to pass. The more you think about it, the more you're convinced the Roman commander must not be underestimated. Uh, we have to set up some kind of signal. I don't need to boost that, it's 90%. The sound of the alarm horn won't carry far from within the glen. He shakes his head. You'll need someone willing to climb the escarpment all the way to the top. Right. But you can tell he doubts anyone can climb the slippery rock, rock side all the way up to the ridge. Stay safe, brother. 
He smiles as you both realize your roles have been reversed since your last farewell. This time he's the one going out on a mission, I'm the one looking after people and keeping them safe. Extend your forearm, embrace him in a bear hug. Um, sure. Give him a nice big sisterly hug, a good cuddle. You caught him by surprise. 95, this should be okay. And he fails again. My dice hate me tonight. Computer, what are you doing? For a moment, the rarest of emotions for Wid. Panic races across his face. But I'm expressing so much fondness and attention as he's going off to his potential death. Somebody has to teach your manners, big brother? Give him a friendly smile. Sure. He smiles back, then studies the sky to see how much daylight remains, so he knows how far away he can go. Realising much must be done for his plan to work, he leaves hastily. He joins the group of seasoned warriors gathering at the entrance. You're still unsettled by the threat the Roman commander presents, and notice Wid's group is bigger than necessary. Wid is already leaving, so you have to decide swiftly. I've mentioned this already. Wid, wait! He turns, his face expressionless, but the rest of them are clearly annoyed. Uh, wait, as I move closer, no. We need more of these men to stay here. Warriors aversion. Close the distance, speak quietly. Sure. Um. Reduce respect, increase aversion, so they'll want less to do with me. Close the distance, negative experience. Sure, I'll boost it. You hasten forward, but some of the warriors roll their eyes nonetheless. What is it? But Weird waits for you to reach him and asks patiently, what is it? Some of these men should stay here. I understand they're all eager to help, but... His own reaction is a quick sidelong glance at his men. Let's make sure we can keep this place safe. Let him arrive at the conclusion himself. Hey, if we can. Oh god, really? You feel like he can explode at any moment and doesn't want to take the risk by staying silent. I'll try a second time. Of course, you're right. I don't need so many men. I'll handle it. He sighs, knowing this won't make him popular. Won't make me popular either. But his authority is evident. A few warriors step back, reserving their unhappy glares for you. Yeah, that's right, I suppose. Wid thanks them, and with a nod, your way swiftly leaves. As soon as Wid and the group are out of sight, Egraine starts packing her things, preparing to leave. The people around her take notice, and she commands the orphans to gather their belongings too. Luan is among them. She starts helping the younger ones. Oh, that, that poor little girl looks terribly upset. She looks like her eyes are brimming with tears, and she's ready to start blubbing her face out. This boy seems just sort of... Desensitize. Shock. That's a lot of fear. Okay, let's, uh, let's, let's get that down. We got loads of motivation points. We can go down to about 18 quite comfortably without suffering any problems yet. We'll speak to Luan. Stay quiet and let Luan leave with a grain. That's guilt. No, we'll speak to her. She glances up when you approach, her expression sad but determined. You notice that she tenses up and slips her hand into her pouch. What do you do? Think about this for a moment. There's no point in pressuring her to stay. She's just being loyal to her friends. If you want to keep her safe, you need to stop Igrain. You don't have to obey her anymore. She's not gonna... Wait for her to reveal what's in the pouch. Your friends need... Yeah, I'll wait. The rush of people packing and debating whether to join a grain gets to you and pulls you to act. Seriously, I'm... So many high rolls failing. I have something for you. She whispers, glancing around to make sure a grain isn't watching. Is this what she didn't give me earlier? What do you do? Step between her and the healer. To block the line of sight so that she... 
No, I'll let the girl handle it. Pretend to drop my pouch so she can give me something, sure. Luan plays along and bends to retrieve it. Your hands meet and she passes you a couple of thick brown leaves. This could be the poisonous plant she was being given that Brian knocked over and ruined. I'll hide the leaves in my bag without speaking to her. Once the herbs are out of sight, she visibly relaxes and turns to help you help another of her little friends without drawing further attention to you. Take care of yourself, Luan. Whisper goodbye, brave girl. Joke, keep the warm place for me at the castle, won't you? At the fortress. Here, you'll have a lot of mouths to feed. Give a... I don't have a lot of wealth, do I? I've got, like, um... 13 points. I can't... It would... It would be a good, kind thing to do. Can I afford it? I'll whisper, goodbye, brave girl. You can tell the girl appreciates your discretion, but a warm smile reaches her eyes and her shoulders straighten. She needs to be a bit braver. Yeah. Take care of yourself, Luan. We're leaving. Anyone who isn't ready will be left behind. Egraine threatens, fixing you with an angry stare. I'm not an orphan. Shut up, you old hag. Add aversion. Whisper. You've been a dear friend. Stay safe. Reducing Luan's shame, sure. She looks away, hiding her reaction. Egraine hollers for her charges to hurry up. What do you do about Egraine and the orphans leaving? Egraine, what nonsense is this? It'll give us a negative experience of her. Uh, we have to stick together, stay quiet, analyze the situation, sure. These optional roles are always worth trying. You make an effort to understand Egraine's perspective. She just lost another power struggle with Wid, one that she initiated as well, so that's going to hurt her even more. And Wid entrusted this place to you, not her. That must have rubbed her up the wrong way too. But if she leaves and get captured, it'll be a higher risk this place will be compromised. Then you look at the crowd. Many are panicking simply because they need a healer. You feel like you're running out of options. The best way to keep them here is simply to remind them of Wid. And once no adults from the community follow Egraine out, you should be able to sway the guards to keep her in. The last thing you notice is a boy perched high up on the cliffside, clearly hiding from Egraine. So he can climb. And I think this is the boy we saw in an earlier chapter. You recognise him with a twinge of amusement. It's the little rascal with the turquoise stone. The, the stone from the Roman mural in the old ruined villa. He's showing his wits again and some serious climbing skills. What do you do about Egraine and her orphans leaving? Egraine, we have to stick together. I'm going to boost this because I've got the points to do it. It's your fault this place isn't safe. You failed to bring back the missing children. She snaps. Look, I brought back all but one. I brought back one of the two missing children and she's right here, right now, and she's getting ready to go with you. People start talking in hushed voices, now uncertain whether they should go, stay or go themselves. 70, oh dear. Success. Only a few start to pack their things, some of them glancing your way for guidance. To attain, back me up on this. We're safest remaining here. I can afford to boost. People, we're safe here. Weird is leaving the Romans away. Builds his renown, also we know this is, we've analysed this is a good choice. You can't gamble with the lives of all these children. People, we're safe here. Wid is leading the Romans away. Several villagers stop packing and visibly relax once they're reminded that Wid is out there duping the Romans. Oh, those foolish Romans. E so easily fooled and tricked. I'm not putting my fate in your brother's hands. He almost got us all killed at the ravine. Egraine scoffs. I am welcome at the royal fort. Anyone who follows will sleep safely within its walls tonight. She proclaims in a formal voice, making an official proclamation. 
building up her reputation once again, or trying to rebuild her shattered reputation. Wid has never steered us wrong in times of war. The wounded and sick need rest. I've been tending to each and every one of them while you slept. She gloatingly spits. It's now up to the gods who will recover and who slip into the shadows. She proclaims, again using her ceremonial voice. Wid has never steered us wrong in times of war. You're tired of needing to invoke Wid to reassure the anxious crowd and waver. I'm going for it. Several people nod thoughtfully, recalling all the times Wid made sound decisions. After this, no adults follow Igraine when she moves to leave with the orphans. Even Maul, who was packing his bag, changes his mind and makes himself comfortable next to the hot spring. And we haven't really seen much of him since chapter one. Maybe his presence will come in useful during the times to come. Seeing everyone agrees to stay, you're confident you can convince the guards as well to, and stop Igraine. Run to reach the guards first. Negative experience forward. Let a grain walk up to them first. Sure, let's boost it and walk confidently and calmly. You join the end of the row without her noticing and patiently wait for the guards to act. Wid has no authority over me, Igraine scolds the guards when they step into her path. I'm using the same brain I used when I healed you all. My own, she says, a reminder of their debt to her. This isn't voiced yet, so this may be new, added in with the latest patch. Do you intervene? At the guards. But Wid has authority over all of you. That will increase their aversion, how much they want to be away from me and dislike me. Wid saved us too and is sticking his neck out. He's risking his life for us right now. What if she falls into Roman hands and leads them here? Sure, boost it. For a moment, it looks like the guard is going to snap something back, but he remains silent. You can tell he's considering this from every angle. Plus 25% risk chain bonus. Okay, but 100, that's great. Leave. I'm not explaining to Wid how I put the orphans at risk. The grizzled warrior growls at a grain. So yeah, he's daring her to leave. We've blocked a hate increase, gained some renown. You can see her realize she's lost. You mutts, we'll all die here because you shake and piss, she snaps, but she's chosen the wrong person to yell at. This is interesting. Uh, before the patch, we were unable to prevent her from leaving. And this whole test sequence was less about stopping her from leaving and more about reducing the amount of people who would leave with her and how the, the whole influence struggle would play out. This may go differently now. This is interesting. Because a lot of people asked if it was possible to prevent her from leaving at all and the developers said, no, it's not. But you can... Yeah, it, it's, it's how she leaves and how many people leave with her. The warriors... The warrior's slap stops her mid-sentence. Shut your mouth, woman. You'll lead the enemy straight here. A hundred renown lost. Igraine's face turns red, not only from the slap, but also from the humiliation, because the guard's words ring true. Shame. Shame. Shame on you, lady, for the things you do. Are you calm enough to lead them back? He asks threateningly, and Igrain hastily retreats. You can see she is truly shaken, as she is not even mean at the children. What do you do? Yeah, you had it coming. You don't beat her, you shouldn't hit a woman. I'll stay quiet and just turn back. Serves her right. He was in his right to slap her in this case. Yes, he was, because she was about to do something really dangerous, risk the whole community. 
He shouldn't have slapped her. Well, look, yeah, you shouldn't hit a woman, but sometimes when people are right out of their minds, they need a, a smack or something to, to, to bring them back. Like, it, like if someone's panicking, right? You, they might need a, a sharp slap in the face to bring them back to their senses, yeah, to help them calm down. Uh, we're not talking like that aeroplane film where everyone beats the woman up, you know. Uh, let's just hope no one heard her yell. No, no, no. In this case, uh, serves her right, yeah, but he was also in his right... So what, she got what she deserved, or... In this case, he's a guard, he's within his rights to use physical force to resist, to prevent greater harm coming to the, you know, the, the greater communities, for the greater good. People watch as you all return back into the valley, and many of them look, many of them look at you with respect. This is incredibly different to previous experiences, so okay. Okay, does this mean that if the Romans turn up, she will do something vindictive and hateful, which will actually make the whole situation worse for us, just to try and make me look bad so she can try and regain power and make herself look good afterwards? You notice a few wounded fighters are moving their gear to the far end of the glen. Ah, this is a bit more familiar now. What do you do next? Stay quiet. We follow Wid's plan and we'll be fine. And prepare for the worst. Think about options. Scanning the glen, you see the sick and wounded struggling to reach the far end. Not only their injury is hidden to their progress, but also the hot spring which has made the muddy mess of the terrain back there. You realise this would be the perfect field upon which to face the Roman legionnaires in their heavy armour. Roman legionaries... Hasn't been fixed yet, but has been noticed and is being worked on. Hopefully in a future patch, that'll get, that'll get fixed. While few people here could hold up a shield wall, most of them are carrying a bow or sling. A plan starts to form in your mind. A handful of warriors using the mud to hold off Roman lines while missiles rain down on them. So Iron Age Celts, less bows, more slings and spears. Realistically. The last piece falls into place when you recall the alarm signal you arranged with and the boy who's climbing on the cliff. A second force slamming the Romans from behind could turn the tide and force an enemy to retreat. And the boy who was hiding from Igraine can climb all the way to the top of the ridge. What do you do? Talk to the boy in private. Think before putting the boy at risk. From seeing the boy climb, you know he's up to the task, and giving him a chance to prove himself will improve his standing. Does he have the courage for it, though? But the others have to understand that you've seen him climb before. Or you could just placate them, saying the signal will work regardless and don't send anyone up the rock face. No, that would be really foolish. What do you do? I'll talk to the boy in private first. It takes a moment for you to spot him next to the hot spring. He must have climbed down to warm himself while Igraine was distracted. He smiles when he sees you approach. Yeah, he's kind of quiet, doesn't like to talk much. What do you do? I saw you hiding from Igraine up there. Good job. Can you climb all the way up to the ridge? Reconsider. Now, sure, I'll go for this, because this will be positive experience with the orphans. His expression lightens up at the mention of his transgression. He's obviously proud of himself. Can you climb all the way up to the ridge? Up there? Go on! I, can you do it? I bet you can't. Oh, you, can you? Well, oh, you can! Great! He puffs out his chest and, chest and raises his chin as if insulted by the question. He extends an open palm in an unmistakable gesture. He wants a reward for his trouble. What do you do? I saw before that you're a what do I give him? Toss him a pouch of dried meat? I saw before that you're a capable climber, but this is risky. He grins and makes a cup with both hands now. The price just went up. <laughs> okay. But you notice that Etain, who was eyeing you like a hawk before, relaxes somewhat when she sees you're letting the boy decide. What do you do? Sure. I'll I'll pay him his price. 
While you need someone up there to signal wind, you don't like the boys haggling. Look, you know what? I'll boost. Because I've got the points for it. He catches it mid-flight and immediately assesses its weight, which means now, unfortunately, I'm back down to like eight points. Eight points. However, I'm not good around. People can't trust anyone. Look, I don't have what it takes. I could resist that. I'm going to boost trust in people because I'm trusting this boy with my life and the life of everyone here. Renown, the strong, the calm, the starborn. Is, so that's a straight up renown booster. Um, the brave, the calm. Sh uh, brave would be really good in this upcoming section. Oh, how many points? Right, well, well, we'll boost this as well. We got loads of points. Um, known for being calm, sure. And we can boost this all the way as well. And then we got 84 points left and no new reputations to boost up to five. So that's everything. Uh, 102 points. Etain is volatile. But she's a good friend and she means well and we trust her. Part of the rogue wait 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 followers. They don't want a war, they're loyal to each other. The stranger is a skilled healer. The stranger freed our people. I could Yeah, so he means us well. Um Brian is clumsy and smart. Okay, what else have I got? So in an upcoming fight, Maul Igraine, Wid, and Etain are likely to present. Luan is here, actually. She likes Brian. She wants to belong. She doesn't expect help. Attention frightens her. She wants to hide out. Being ostracized. Uh, she'll do anything to gain power. Why are we understanding that as a good thing? Feel less aversion towards you. Understand. We understand that she's, she's missing something and trying to fill a void, trying to get it back. That is a reputation as a healer. So she shouldn't do anything to harm that. I think Etain is lethal. Her own emotions surprise her. She knows the Roman commander. Put that in there. It could be really important. Um, she's part of the Royal Guard. Look, yeah, we should put something in there as well. That could be important as well. Okay. Oh, we got a level. That's why we got so many points. Cool. Uh, let's hope... It... Yeah. His face lightens up. He's plainly happy about the trade, but he's working hard to hide it. He flashes the alarm horn for everyone to see and races to the cliff to start his ascent. People are worried the boy might hurt himself, but they seem to think you handled it fairly. Great. That worked out well. What do you do next? Stay quiet. Um, let's move the guards to the far side of that mud. You can see Attain seriously su considering your suggestion. The Roman armor will be a disadvantage. Uh, no, let her think on her own. I mean, this is a whole... Um, uh, Alexander and Yevsky, isn't it? You know, the battle on the ice. But let her think and see if she can... Do you realize what you just said? Yup. And I'm glad you do too. Their armor will be the death of them! She exclaims, rage and excitement thick in her voice. I know. I'm a genius. <laughs> I'm glad you agree. That's a better respect. Yeah, I'm glad you agree. Uh, trust or respect, what's... What would be better for us here? What if we, um... Uh... Trust is at nine, respect is at six. So maybe we should build that, um, respect. Sure. She gives you a surprised look, but you can tell she really admires you for this. Once everyone sees you're in agreement, you don't even need to make an announcement. They all start moving towards the back. 
go talk to the guards myself. Tell her to go and get her. Could you please tell the guards? Um, sure. Sure, she's a warrior. She'll be speaking to warriors. She, she'll know how to convey the orders better. She nods. From her brisk pace, you can tell she really likes this plan. In the distance, you see a Tain pointing towards the back of the glen and the guards, exchanging reluctant glasses, glances. To your surprise, they soon follow her lead. You'd have expected it to take more convincing for them to leave their posts. Chapter End Alright, we made it safely through another chapter. We got some rewards, lost some more wealth. So we lost five points, got a point back somehow. Uh, got some nice insights. And we're moving on into the next chapter. Alright. Well, I'm going to leave this episode here. Before going on to record the next one. I hope you've all enjoyed this one. And I do look forward to seeing you all in the very next episode. Where we'll be playing some more of Sacred Fire. I'm going to say goodbye for now though. And wish you all well. See you all soon. Cheerio everyone.